Hi! Follow along with me today as I create some fun earrings using old magazines. I love upcycling and creating new life for old items, so click that subscribe button now if that's your jam too. Now for this project, you're going to need some old magazines, a paper cutter, a crochet hook, or something that's round that doesn't taper and change shapes like a paintbrush. You'll also need a paintbrush, a bone folder, some decoupage glue, some jewelry pliers, and then a jump ring and some earring hardware. If you don't have this in your stash, you can use an old pair of earrings or something that you found at the thrift store. So start by pulling a few really colorful pages from your magazines. Be thoughtful here because the colors actually really will show up and you'll want them to look nice. This part really does take me the longest because I can be a little bit too choosy. I like pages that have full color, like the one that you see me pulling here. You're going to need three total pages to make the earrings that I've made, which end up being about one and a quarter inch in diameter. Of course, you would need more pages and more strips if you wanted bigger earrings, or maybe you want to get creative and do uh, two coil circles. So um, anyway. Uh, I end up with, uh, I pull three sheets and uh, cut them up and end up with six strips. So now that I've selected my sheets, I'm going to cut them into two inch strips. The paper cutter is super important here. I've tried to do it with just a ruler and scissors and we really want it to be evenly cut so that the folds are even and everything lays nicely. So this is one tool you're really going to need. So cut the strips into two, or the pages into two inch strips and then lay one strip from each page in a pile. One for the left earring and one for the right. And then you'll end up with about one and a half remaining strips and I just put them in a pile for a later project. When you're finished doing all of these cuts, you will have six strips of paper for each earring. Be sure to keep them in order and then it's time to start folding. This is the impossible part to explain in text, so I'm glad you're watching. With the color side down, because that's the color that's going to show in your earrings, fold one side of the paper towards the center and then be sure that you give it a good crease. And then now fold the other side all the way to that opposite edge and crease it down, being sure that everything stays really even as you go. Now the fun part, take that and fold it in half again. You're going to end up with a strip that's right at about a quarter of an inch. Um, and even if your fold is a little bit off on folds one and two, somehow it all ends up laying right in the end. Uh, so, you know, don't get too, don't get too in your head about it. Just fold the strips. I'm laying it on a ruler here just to show you that when I end up, uh, like I said, it's, it's right at about a quarter of an inch thick. You can change this up if you want thicker earrings or thinner earrings. It's just my way of doing it. So now that I have my two piles, I'm just going through and verifying that they're all in the same order for each earring. And maybe this won't matter to you if your brain doesn't get all matchy-matchy like mine does, but I really like my earrings to look like a complete pair. So that I don't have to fumble for my glue, I'm going to dump a bit of it into a glass jar. I can always put it back in the bottle, the, the portion that I don't use, and I'm also laying out a paper towel because I won't have time to stop for any supplies once I begin to glue and coil the paper. Okay, so now the real fun begins. Take your crochet hook and your first strip of paper and begin to coil the paper tightly around the crochet hook, just being careful to make sure everything lines up along the way and add a decent amount of glue early on. And then you're just going to continue to wrap this while dabbing glue randomly to hold everything together nicely. Now that we're coming to the end of the first strip, be sure that you glue the end down really well. And dab a little glue inside where the folds are. This keeps everything laying together really nicely. You can see me just using my paintbrush to wedge in there where that fold is, where otherwise it would leave air, a little air bubble. So to add your next strip, be sure that your folded side of the paper is facing the same direction as your first strip. Again, it just keeps everything nice and even. It wouldn't be the end of the world if you got one backwards. Now you're just going to overlap the first strip slightly and glue it down really well. Decoupage or Mod Podge glue dries clear, so you can be a little more liberal. 
Be sure that you're adding glue a little more often for your first wrap of each new strip. At this point, I feel really confident that I have a solid foundation so I can relax and remove the crochet hook. As you're wrapping now, be sure that you're checking the tension and add in glue every couple of inches or, or more often, depending on your preference. We're just gonna repeat this process now for the remaining four strips. Checking the tension and the evenness of the circle as we go along. And I mean, it's paper, it has no memory. It's a really forgiving structure, so you can use your fingers to squeeze and adjust where necessary. Trust me, your fingers are gonna get inky and gluey, and this is not a clean craft by any means, but you're creating something from something else that most people toss in the garbage, so that's pretty cool, and your hands are washable. So before we get to our last strip, I'm just adding a jump ring to my earring hardware. If you're reusing another old pair of earrings, you'll probably skip this step. Regardless, I just wanna have this done before I start my final strip so that I don't have to stop once I'm, I've started wrapping. So for the last strip, a word of advice, add more glue than you did on the other ones. This is the piece holding your earring hardware and everything hangs from it. And while it's light, it is still paper that is hanging from your ear, from a wire. So I think a little more glue is necessary. Start your wrap just like normal but when you have about six inches remaining, add in your earring hardware, and just be sure that your jump ring can stand completely up before gluing the rest of the paper down. It's not easy to get that jump ring on, and actually I should have mentioned that you'll wanna use a large jump ring and adjust or adjust your paper size down. One of those regular scrawny jump rings just isn't gonna cut it here. I end up being able to wrap the strip through the jump ring twice, which isn't easy, but that coupled with the extra glue I'm dabbing in really secures things up. And so far, I've never had one of these unravel. They do end up being pretty sturdy and durable, though I've never been caught in them in a rainstorm, but something tells me they wouldn't survive that. You could try to glaze the whole thing with decoupage if getting caught in the rain and these earrings keeps you up at night. And that's it folks, repeat this process with the strips in the same order for your second earring and give these to yourself, friends, and family. You can also do this with old newspapers, scrapbooking paper strips that you have left over, old mail, ooh, I bet old books from the thrift store would be pretty too. Anything paper you can throw away, you can actually turn into some really pretty earrings. Find me online at brandyburke.com and on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at TheBrandyBurke. Now hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!